What is going on YouTube? Welcome to another video in my tutorial series for Java. Now today we're going to be talking about polymorphism. Now this is a topic that confuses a lot of people at first but um, you'll come to see why why this is such a useful feature in in fact all programming languages and um, I'm gonna try my best to make you guys understand how this is useful. Now, the first thing you need to know about polymorphism is basically it's a way for us programmers to reference a bunch of objects that are of the same type. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, so perhaps we have an, we wanted to create an array of boy. So we have, um, so let me go ahead and do that. Boy, um, I'm going to call it boys new boy and I, I want to hold 10 boys in here okay that's great and all but what if I not only did I want to hold 10 boys I wanted to hold 10 boys and girls so the keyword here is and so instead of just talking about it why don't I go ahead and create another class I'm gonna call it girl girl and in this class I'm going to extend or inherit from our human class. So just like we did in our boy class, we're going to have to do the same thing here. Public girl. Um, I'm going to call the super. And I'm going to pass in a name in variable here and a color variable. And I'm going to do the following. String name, string color. So this is the exact same thing that we had with our boy class here, OK? So now we have two classes, boy and girl, that inherits from this human class right here. Now, the way we would go about doing that, so what I mean by that is this. If we wanted to create an array that essentially holds everyone who is a human, okay? So this boy is a human, girl is also an, a human because they both extend or inherit from our human class here. So if we wanted a way to group both these elements, because right now, let's take a look. Um, if we created a, a boy right here, so I'm going to create boy. I'm going to call this boy Tim equals new boy. Uh, so I need to have a name, Tim. Uh, perhaps this guy is brown, right? Whatever. Now, that's great and all. Now, head on over to our boys. I'm going to try and add this to my boys array. I'm going to add Tim. Now that works perfectly. But if I wanted, if I created a girl, girl, um, Sally equals new Sally. Oh, <laughs> new girl, sorry. Uh, let's see, I'm going to call her Sally. Uh, perhaps she's white, right? Uh, if I try to add the Sally to my boys class here, it's going to give us a, a compiler error. So... <coughs> <clears throat> right here, see, it's going to give us an error. It's of incompatible type, which which makes sense, right? This is supposed to happen because I can't just assign um, a, a different type to the same array. That wouldn't make out any sense at all. But the way we can get around that is because both boy and girl inherits from this human class here, instead of having an array of boys, we could have an array of humans okay and <clears throat> yeah you man there we go and now this well I called it boys but let's go ahead and just call it humans right what about that humans okay humans zero humans one now this doesn't give us any error because now we are saying okay why don't we create a an array of humans and we're gonna store anything that is a human so we could create a human instance even but instead of doing that we're just gonna create a boy and a girl and we're gonna insert it into our humans array now this is the basic idea behind polymorphism and this is very very useful because there can there will be cases in which you are going to need this in your future programs for instance 
even in this scenario, um, we could have multiple, multiple um, classes that inherit from the same class, but you know, we, we want to have a way to access all of the elements and not just isolate it from you know its itself so if we had boys we d we don't want to just access boys we want to access everything that is a human and this is how we would do that with polymorphism now i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is the main idea again behind polymorphism essentially grouping things together okay um I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.